I am Dr. Rachel Hamilton, and when you hear this, I will be out of your reach. For over a decade now, we have been at our so-called greater work in the service of a monster. Continue trying to delude yourselves that we are in charge. It rings a little hollow when we have no leverage over them, doesn't it? None of my recommendations about filling its lair with munitions have been heeded. None of my warnings about infiltration have been listened to. But make a few little mistakes and you want to offer me up as a scapegoat. Not happening. Yes, I admit, some of the abnormals got out before, but you know, as well as I, that it was entirely the fault of the security services. Besides, why on earth were we keeping so many of them? Hold a few, kill the rest. That should have been the sensible thing. And of course, you didn't listen when the same thing happened again. We're lucky no one cares about shitty little Welsh towns vanishing. Nothing of consequence was lost. But to blame me for that, when you wouldn't allow any of my perfectly reasonable precautions to be put in place, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Don't pretend you were remotely upset about the loss of life. Spare me your moralising. There's an incinerator full of the ashes of dead kids. But that didn't bother you, did it? Nor should it. We are talking about societal engineering on a scale not seen since the Egyptians. But we're not tricking people with religion. We're working on active and lasting change. A country where everyone is in lockstep. Beautiful. So, no. I shall not be going quietly. No. I shall not take the blame for your failures. Instead, I shall be well away from this backwards little country. These creatures aren't unique to Britain. The Americans are already well on the way developing their own system. And unlike you, they're made of sterner stuff. They were most impressed with the research packets I offered them. And I'll be able to jump their project forward dramatically. Unlike you, they're not afraid to make their hard choices. I suspect not only will I fit in well, but I'll be lauded as a visionary, which is much more than I ever got here. The most delicious part of this is there isn't a damn thing you can do about it. What political levers can you pull, eh? None. You raise a stink about it, you'll be flatly ignored. So enjoy your half ass approach to the greatest scientific gift humanity has ever received. I shall be off, make me history, and you can kiss my unappreciated backside.